Let's dig a little bit into image compression. So JBIG uh, used for binary images. Probabilities are estimated for black and white pixels while coding because binary images only contain black and white pixels. So JBIG uses 10 pixels as a context. You already know what context is, I assume that. And the prediction errors are compressed with arithmetic coding. I also assume, assume that you know what's arithmetic coding. Uh, JBIG supports progressive transmission. Images with different resolution are stored, transmitted, and uh, each dimension is approximately half as large as the next. One point corresponds to four points in the next final resolution and the progressive transmission results in about 5% of the overhead. So JB can do transforming of the image in terms of making coarser resolutions. How to do that? And what does actually that mean? What does that actually mean? So we have, uh, let's say, some area on our image which contains 16 pixels and we will make coarser resolution from that each four pixels will become one pixel. So how to do that? So we will use the mask to determine whether this pixel will be black or white, so this pixel in coarser resolution. We will weight the sum of all the pixels. If this pixel is black, our sum will have four. If this pixel is black, plus one plus 2, etc. For all this, they will give their weight into the sum. And if this pixel is black, this or this, we will subtract something from our sum. If this pixel is black, we will subtract 3. Let's say we have this pixel black, this pixel black, this, this, and this. We will sum up 4, 2, 2 and 1 and subtract 3. So if this weighted sum will be more than, it has to be more than 4.5. If it is, then this pixel will be black. Let's calculate. 6 minus 3 is 3, 3 plus 2 is, okay, it's black. It will be black. If it will be more than 4.2, uh, it will be 6 actually, so this pixel is black. Uh, try to calculate another one. I'm giving you task now, you can tell me if this pixel is black, if all of the pixels that take part into the sum are black. I'll give you the result in a second. Okay, if you didn't cope with that, the pixel will be black because 9 is bigger than 4.5. So, important concept of typical prediction. In binary images, rows are often identical to previous rows. A row is called typical if it's equal to the previous one. One additional pixel is used to indicate switches in typicality. That means if we have two identical rows, we don't have to store uh, the identical rows. We can store only pixel additional one that is used to indicate switches in typicality. Because if we know that the current row is the same as the previous, we don't have to store it. We will just store the pixel that shows us if the previous row is the same or not. I will give an example now and it will become more clear. Uh, the, also, the zeroth row is considered to be completely white and the typical, but because we have to start from something. Let's consider this example. So, this is our pixel field. I'm sorry, it's a little bit... Yeah, you see it. Okay, so these black pixels indicate the black pixels on real image. So, let's try to say which rows are typical or not. and. Uh, follow the algorithm. So these additional pixels indicate typicality, so they indicate the switch. We know that the zero, zero row, the one we don't even see, the one we start with, 
uh, it's white and atypical. Yeah, uh, the second row is the same. Yeah, it's white. We see it, it's completely white, so it's the same as the previous one. So we say that the, this row will be typical because first one is also completely zero. And we see that typicality switched from atypical, we know pure uh, first zeros was atypical. This is the switch. Switch is from switch from the other typicality type it is done like that. The pixel is white and then if pixel doesn't change, the type of the pixel doesn't change, it becomes black. So typical, the these two rows are the same as first one, so they're typical. Now typicality switch because we have here one black pixel. Typicality switch. Now these two rows are atypical uh, uh, with respect to this one, to this one, this row with respect to this, this with respect to this, this with respect to this. So they are all three atypical in the row. Typicality type changed here, so white pixel. And then two rows are atypical once again, so they become black. And in similar fashion, typicality switch, because this row is the same as this one, they are typical, uh, this row is typical to this one. And the uh, typicality switch once again, and you understand how that works, I think. So, in uh, typical predictions in progressive mode, one two the pixel is used to indicate if a row is typical. Okay. Uh, in progressive mode, a row is typical if all points are typical. And how to determine if the point is typical? Well, there is some logic. How to determine typicality of a point? It only works for coarse resolution with known fire error resolution. There are two statements. Coarse resolution point is the same color as his neighbor, all his neighbors. All nine points are the same color. And the four finer resolution points should be the same color. So we have these two statements. And typically, and the point will be typical if first statement is false or if both first and second statements are true. The line is typical when all points are also typical, when two resolutions are known. Now when you know how to determine if the point is typical, tell me if these three points are typical. If you don't want or you can't, I'll give the example now. So this is a typical point. Why? Because both conditions hold. Uh, because all neighbors are the same color and final resolution are also the same color. Is this one typical? Yes, it is, because coarse resolution neighbors are not the same color. So, uh, if coarse resolution neighbors are not the same color, that means the point is atypical. And here, why is it atypical? First, the neighbors are the same color as our point. Thus, first statement holds. Uh, to make this point typical, uh, second should also hold, but it doesn't, because the four final resolution should also be the same color, but here we see one black pixel, thus the point is a typical.